Okay, day two of our Damascus to the Grayson Highlands trip. Uh, this was our campsite. How you doing, Mike? Hey. <laughs> we have to say this is a nice campsite and it is just just about 0.8 miles north of Thomas Knob Shelter. Again, we were recommended this by uh, Jay Wanders Out. A lot of a lot of hikers were here, but uh, through hikers, but also day hikers and family campers. Okay. 5,400 feet. This campsite. What was it again? I think the campsite elevation is 5395. Yeah. Or something like that. Which is just a tiny bit less than Mount Rogers. Okay, here we go. That nice bear box. Okay, we're getting close to Thomas Knob. So this is part of the beautiful view. <clears throat> We have reached Thomas Knob Shelter, and as you can see, it's got a nice overhang and a smaller door opening, so uh, less wind, I guess, would go in. Yeah, it's really, really good. We had hoped to see some ponies up here. We had told, we were told that there were some, so maybe we'll find them as we're going further south. But right now, Mike and Adam are going down to get water. All right, even a better view from Thomas Knob Shelter rocks and uh, it's spectacular. People say who have gone up to Mount Rogers, which we believe is not there yet, uh, that the view is just as good here. And since Mount Rogers is a blue blaze, if you're pressed for time, you might not need or want to do it, but we're not going to do it because we're satisfied with this beautiful view. Yvette? Yes. What do you think of all this so uh, far? I think it's beautiful. It's hard, you know, it was a tough hike yesterday, Yeah. Um, but we're headed downhill today and, and actually I feel really good this morning and, you know, how can you not feel good looking at this? Yep, exactly. Me too. Okay, folks, we've come across a through hiker at Thomas Knob Shelter and I'll let her introduce herself. Hi. I am titanium, and I get that name because both knees and hips are made of the stuff. And that's my dog, Buddy, over there. Sweet. We started on February 1st, got hit with a bit of hypothermia, and uh, but we kept pushing on. And I am 78 years old and Whoa. will be the oldest woman to through hike this lovely trail. Congratulations. <laughs> That's amazing. How did you do in the Smoky Mountains? Is that where you got hypothermia? No, actually I got hypothermia in Georgia when they had six inches of rain in 12 hours. I mean, it was <sighs> a deluge and my big Agnes tent <laughs> couldn't cope. Oh my and gosh. Everything in the tent got wet and I couldn't get out without going into a hypothermic reaction so i had to use my spot to send out an sos and the sars got there in a few hours but as long as i stayed in my sleeping bag i was okay they came with because everything was wet in the sleeping bag all my clothes and everything and it was 40 degrees outside so anyway wow they came and Thank Nancy goodness. Kelly had clothes for me. She was my size, luckily. Oh. And we got back on the trail after about a week of recovering. Okay. Well, that's wonderful. God bless you. Thank goodness you were okay. And buddy. So what's your goal for today? Uh, this was a really, really hard hike for us. It was so steep and rocky. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna go easy. We're just gonna go down either to Wise or Old Orchard. Uh -huh. And I've heard that the terrain is really uh, friendly. So we may go to the second one, or we may just get real lazy because each one's about five miles from the other one. Right. Right. Wise is a nice shelter too. You might enjoy that. Yeah. Thank you, Titanium. How great to meet you. <laughs> Thank you. Good luck on the rest of your journeys. Oh, thanks. We see you again. We'll have some trail magic for you. Oh, I love it. <laughs> yeah, I've had a couple of bouts of that. And man, I'll tell you what, when I get back, I belong to the Tidewater Appalachian Trail Club. I am going to become their trail magic angel. 
<laughs> I bet you are. So nice to meet you. Thanks for the interview. <laughs> So this is called the meadow. These rocks are what we are walking on. And it's um, filled also with roots. And this is the meadow, but we're going into the woods. So we're going up, up there. We got one more up to do. This is uh, week four, week day 28. Four. Okay. So I made it pretty good. Sean Mahoney, trail name, log man. Carrying the log to support veterans. Yes. And we'll put a link down below. Thank you. So proud of you, dude. Yeah. I want you to hear the wind coming up that chute right there. We just came from over there. We got down that mountain as fast as we could. We hiked a couple more miles south until we find a, found a really good campsite for the night. We were all exhausted. We took off our packs, set up our tents, made dinner, and called it a night. A great second day on the trail.